fellow Namibians, Merry Christmas. As customary during this time of the year, once again, our citizens in the spirit of sisterhood, brotherhood, and Christian fellowship come together and celebrate Christmas Day, 25th December. Christmas is meant to be a time of peace, love, and joy. Indeed, all over the world, people come together to celebrate and share the joy of the birth of Jesus Christ as prophesied in Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 to 7. The son will be born of a virgin woman, will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. St. Luke testified the birth of Jesus Christ in chapter 2, verses 8 to 11, which says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. In the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. How ironic and saddening that this year, 2023, the land where Jesus Christ was born is in the middle of a terrible war. That fewer Christians will be able to visit Bethlehem this festive season. Therefore, I invite all fellow Namibians and visitors in our country to take a moment and reflect on the miraculous birth of Jesus Christ and emulate his divine work on earth, which was meant to bring peace and love to all humanity. We should also use the Christmas season to share with our less fortunate brothers, sisters, the elderly and children who do not have the means to buy what they need in order to enjoy Christmas. Fellow Namibians, while we enjoy social and political tranquility in Namibia, millions of our fellow human beings elsewhere are subjected to the threats of wars, social and political upheavals in various parts of the world. Our brothers in Palestine, particularly in Gaza, face the extreme brutality of a terrible war. We therefore join those calling for the cessation of hostility and the silencing of guns so that the people of Palestine can enjoy peace in their homes and land. Fellow Namibians, as we celebrate Christmas, some of our fellow citizens are bracing the mammoth task of national responsibilities. Our nurses, medical doctors, and many other health specialists are ensuring that our hospitals are open and ready to provide dependable medical services to all those who most need them. Our security cluster members, such as the police, defense force, correctional and intelligence services are on alert to ensure that all Namibians enjoy the festive season in an atmosphere of peace and harmony. In the same vein, I salute all our workers in all the sectors of our national economy, our businessmen and women, as well as our farmers. On this Christmas Eve, I would like to wish all the veterans of the liberation struggle a merry and joyous Christmas. Let us remember their sacrifices and honor the blood that was shed 
for us to attain nationhood and which continue to water our freedom. Equally, I would like to wish our leaders at all levels of our society, members of parliament, cabinet ministers and their deputies, governors, regional and local authority councillors, leaders of various political parties and formations, beloved church leaders, our respected traditional leaders in all our 14 regions of our country, a merry and happy festive season. The youth are the future of our country. They are leaders now and even more so in the future. We thus wish them Merry Christmas and Christ's heavenly blessings. Fellow Namibians, though Christmas is the time of celebration, we should never relent on our responsibility to demand that we avoid the abuse of alcohol and its associated negative vices such as gender-based violence. Let us also abide by the road regulations so that we can avoid unnecessary accidents and deaths. On behalf of His Excellency Dr. Hage G. Gangob, President of the Republic of Namibia, the Cabinet, and indeed on behalf of the Mbumba family, I wish all fellow Namibians, as well as visitors in our country, a merry and peaceful Christmas. I thank you.